When working with the zero product property, it does not matter if the equation is set up as number one is x times x minus 6 equals 0, or if it's set up as number 4, y minus 2 times y plus 5 equals 0. The reason they're no different is if I took this one up here, and I put parentheses around the x, and then my second set of parentheses, no different than this, no different than this. So let's work out number one. If it helps, go ahead and put the x in parentheses if that helps you remind you there's two sets of parentheses. So each one of these will be set equal to zero. So we'll have x equals zero, which is the same as saying x equals zero. Then we'll have x minus six equals zero. This one, the x is already by itself. This one is not, so we have to start getting it by itself. So the opposite of negative 6 is adding 6. So then we bring down our x, 6 minus 6 is 0, equals 6. So our solution is 0 and 6. So let's take a look at number 4. So we're going to set each one of these equal to 0. So I'll have y minus 2 equals 0, and I'll have y plus 3 equals 0. So we have to start getting y by itself. So the opposite of subtracting 2 is adding 2, which leaves us with y equals 2. On the next one, y plus 3, the opposite of adding 3, is subtracting 3, which leaves us with y equals negative 3. And our solution set is 2, negative 3.